Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica and in today's video I'm going to take you into Goodwill. So this is a combination of two different trips. I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you everything that was interesting to me and then like always I'll show you anything that I purchase at the end of the video and let me know down in the comments section what your favorite item was on today's trip. I always love reading everybody's answers. So it's currently the second week of January and in my area, the thrift stores have just been jam packed with stuff. All of the shelves have been full. I guess everybody is decluttering for the new year. So that is great if you are a thrifter. So definitely get out and check the thrift stores if you are looking for something in particular because you just might find it. I get a ton of questions and comments on why the Goodwills in my area write on the back of the items with marker. And I'm not sure exactly why, I've never asked. It really looks a lot worse than it is. I've never had a problem getting the marker off of anything I've ever purchased, including wood items. Magic erasers and rubbing alcohol pretty much can get it off very easily. In fact, it's easier to get this off than it is a price tag. So I just wanted to mention that in case you are new to my channel. So the last few weeks that I've been thrifting, I have came across a lot of chicken and rooster items. And here again this week, more chicken items. In last week's video, I purchased a couple of vintage rooster bowls. I will link that video up at the top of the screen in case you missed it. So I came across a lot of interesting dishware on this trip. This set right here happens to be my favorite. I really didn't need any more dishes, but if I did, I probably would have picked up most of what you see here.
I'm assuming that somebody from the north or maybe a colder area donated this because you definitely don't need this where I'm at here in North Carolina. And now I'm going to show you everything that I did purchase today. So this is the first thing that I purchased. It was $5.99 and my daughter Hannah is going to explain to you exactly what it is and what it does. My mom went to the thrift store and she got a three-in-one cake stand. And I'm gonna show you how it works. So first, you could have um, your cake right here. Put your lovely chocolate cake on here and put this lid on it and voila, but there's another way, so. Right here, you can, um, in here, you could put your hummus or your dip or whatever and put like your vegetables, your chips, your fruit or whatever you'd like to put in here. And then, if you don't want all that crusty, dusty stuff to get on your delicious food, you can just simply put the lid over it. <laughs> and there's one other way. So, you can flip this over and put it in here, and you can serve like fruit punch or whatever drink you'd like, and then you could put your um, fruits down here, or just like little snacks and stuff. The next thing that I purchased was the kangaroo yield sign. It was 99 cents and the reason I got this was because one of the last things that my grandpa said to me before he passed away was that he wished he could make a trip to Australia and see the kangaroos in the wild. And it kind of stuck with me and it's something I'll never forget. And when I saw this sign in the store, it immediately made me think of him. And it really was almost like a sign that he was letting me know that he finally got to see those kangaroos. So I have the sign in my garage right now mixed in with all of the signs and things that were in his garage. These were passed down to me along with the neon sign and the working stoplight. These were all in his man cave and I just love having them out here in my garage it makes me think of him and it's really comforting so that is all that i found on today's thrifting trip i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it inspires you to go out and go thrifting you never know what you're going to find thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video